After the death of William Wallace, Robert the Bruce sought once and for all to claim the throne of Scotland. The deal had been made. The Bruce lands would be signed over to the common clan, and in return, John Common would relinquish his claim to the throne. It was gold that day. A bitter, chilling wind blew, driving snow against the hills and the frozen walls of Greyfriars Church. They agreed to meet on holy ground and to parley unarmed. But since William Wallace had failed to win Scotland her freedom, the lands had been in chaos, and there was little trust between the clans. Robert, good to see you. We have much to do if we are to join our lands together. We must change the legacy left behind by William Wallace. The years have not softened the sentiment he aroused. And if we are to combine our power under England, we cannot have thousands of our people and several powerful clans still clamoring for revolution. What is that? The Bruce knew. Even as they had struck their bargain, John Common had conspired to have him arrested for treason and killed. Ah. Well, we can dispense with the frivolous chatter. When you came to me and pledged to turn over your lands in exchange for my support of you as king, were you not betraying England then? you intend to let me keep those lands once you are crowned king? Huh. Come, Robert. Do not play the saint, not you. You laid a trap for Edward, which he escaped. I laid a trap for you, which you escaped. Tomorrow you lay a trap for me, which I escape. And so it goes until we are both old men, like our fathers before us. Hmm? And still this, this look of war in your eyes. You really must learn to control your temper, Robert. It will be your death. The Commons men laid in wait, but the Bruce's men stood against them, led by the great warrior James Douglas. Ma! What, Scott? Robert, the Bruce let the John Commons throw it in the church. So we could save the crown for himself. Who's telling the story, Scott? But it's not how it happened. That was years ago. How could you know how it happened? Uncle Blanda told me. Aye. Your uncle tells it his way. I tell it mine. But it's not the truth. Shh. I know how it happened. Now, would you like me to go on? Would you rather go to sleep now? Ah, Robert. Robert, Robert. I have an eye of you. You want the one thing you cannot have. To be William Wallace. To be loved as he was. To be brave like him. To be free like him. What a wretched wish that is for you to have. How it must coil in your gut. Is that what you want? Now, to throw your 
yourself upon my sword and die today. To be, for a moment, a hollow, empty echo of the man William Wallace was. Both men champions, both battle-hardened. They fought for the crown, for the supremacy of their clans, and for the future of Scotland. For the Bruce will fight for freedom, but the common was a puppet of the English crown. When the church doors burst open, with the fire behind the figure that emerged, no one knew at first who it was. Was it the Bruce? Or the Common? The Common. Or the Bruce? Do you think we'll ever fight again? It's been years since the Bruce was crowned. Six battles lost. Uncle Brandis says he's got no army to speak of. Calls him the Pretender King. I don't know, Kearney, but I know I'd never call him that. Now help me with the bucket. Just six years. We ruined this country, didn't we? You and I. Without all your ambition. Three days, maybe four. We'll be safe in Northland. Will we ever go home? 
You miss your ma? <laughs> I miss my ma too. Your ma and pa lived in a big ass castle though, didn't they? A castle? Aye. Aye. That's where I was born. It's home. All around it, there's fields and forests where I played as a wee lad. Can we go there? The English took it from him, lad. Now some fat pig has his ass plopped in his fancy chair at his fancy table. One day, aye. Oh, aye. <laughs> One day we'll be sat round that table, aye? Eating bore. Drinking claret. <laughs> that man there is going to free Scotland. I'm going to take back my castle. I'm going to stick that English pig on the end of my sword, and I'm going to fling him over my castle wall. And you'll go home too. A wee bit older, more man than boy. And you'll see your ma again. After winter, you see. Will not go to Norway. Leave me. Go home to your families. We're done. And if anyone asks you whatever happened to Robert the Bruce, you tell them you know not. You tell them you fought with the common and the English all along. Go home! Go! Stop this talk now. You are the king. God chooses kings, James, not men. We're done fighting, lad. What were we fighting for? Go home, he says. Tell him we were fighting for coming all along. I've heard Common has 50 pieces for him. Gold. Need time to be free from James. Oh, I... No, no, no. It's regicide. It's a sin. We don't have to kill him. On the capture. There is a reward on your head. You're not safe on your own. I'll not stop fighting for you. Scotland. Look at those faces, James. Look at them. They're done. They've no fight left in them. We're done here. Do the work, Hamish. Try to set the hook too soon, she'll leap right off. If you let her nibble the bait and set the hook herself, she'll no get away. Right, take that. Good lad. Where are you three headed then? The home's to the south, I reckon. Aye. So it's his. He's after the reward. Same as us. Ah, the reward. 50 gold pieces. Is that your prize? There's three of us, James. Aye. <laughs> you know, it wouldn't matter if there were 10, would it? You I had for a decent man. Your music has been very dear to me these past few months. You. I've never liked you anyway, but I fought next to you and I'd have died for you as a countryman. 
It's over, James. The Bruce failed. Robert the Bruce never lost those battles. You did. And the men like you. You failed them. And now you chase after them after some reward. Either we do it or someone else will. Judas. Traitors all. Now! Next! What are you doing? Stay out of it. You did nay need to kill Hamish. He was armed. I with an axe, he could barely swing. And it was going in his back. He's a child! We're leaving. He's still breathing. Hey, what are you doing? He knows where we're going. James Douglas is not dying like this. He knows where we're going. Say a prayer. Say a prayer! Be filled with blessings, like the sun that lights the sky. You always have the courage to spread your wings and fly. Don't you leave me. Ma. Don't. Ma. Don't leave me. Ma. Thank you, good sir. Did we lose then? We won! Good. Now help me fill this basket. Horse, my lady. Who do you think you are? I'm the king. Is that enough? We're not done. So pretty. Look at that. Beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. For your father. You're with me if you like. Would you like to say something? I miss you. She'd never left us. I hope the English 
find their pretender king and kill him. Scott. I do. Do you think he hears us more? Bye. Back home? Bye. went that way. Look, he's going up late. Aye. What about the horses? What, you think yours can go where yours can it? Michael's got a magic horse. Jesus. <laughs> oh, aye. He's going up this way. Fifty pieces, lads. Fifty pieces. Favourite. One more scoot. Aye, finish that first. It's my birthday. One Scott. more scoot. How's your day, Scott? Good so far. What'd you get me? There isn't, as always. <laughs> Did you feed the goats, Ivor? Aye. All right. We thank you for Scott. For today, we celebrate the beginning of his 11th year. He's growing to be a good lad. And although sometimes he might be a little wild, he trusts in you. He's a good boy, a good son. We pray for Scotland and for our king, that you guide him and give him strength. We pray that you protect us during the winter ahead, that we may have food and that we may stay safe. Amen. 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 <sighs> Tell the story, Ma. No more. It's my birthday. Ma, start at the church. He means the violent bit. All right. Now the Bruce had disarmed John Common. <laughs> <laughs> Robert the Bruce was excommunicated from the Holy Church and brandished a villain. Yet the priests of Scotland crowned him king. His family was taken from him. His wife, Elizabeth. His wee princess, Marjorie. He took up 
the mantle William Wallace had carried to fight for Scotland's freedom against a vast English army and the clans that refused to support the cause. For many years he fought, and for many years he lost. Again and again. He fought until the rivers flowed red with Scottish blood. Till he was hunted like an animal by English and Scott alike. Any man who breaks the head of Robert the Bruce shall receive the sum of 50 gold pieces. Day soon he'll raise another army, and he'll fight again. Maybe one of you will fight with him. Not me. He'll win, and we'll all be free. Bless Orm, in the forest, looking near death. Did you know? I, I did. I really did. <laughs> you do see a strange man in the forest, just to tell me. Soldiers, we need food. And ale. If you have any. What do you fight for? Robert the Bruce or John Cullen? My father fought with Robert the Bruce at South Film. Is that so? Aye. He was very brave. Robert the Bruce even said to himself. Daddy. Aye. He told us stories. Get back. <coughs> Go on. Where is he now? Still fighting with the Bruce? He died. We're with the common clan, lad, as should you be. Your lords have pledged themselves to him. My father fought with William Wallace too. Oh, aye. Aye. Scotland died with the Wallace, if you ask me. We offer our gratitude for your food. We'll be leaving. Unless you'd like us to stay. Well, we could use helping hand. I said, we'll be going. What do you say, Lars? Can you use helping hand? I said, we'll be going. I said, we're leaving. You best leave us. Now, you're going to be a hero, are you? He won't have to. I'll show you what happens to you. Out. All right? Scots attack Scots. To what end? I wonder we'll all be. 
be free. One day we'll be dead. Soldier, I need help. And who are you a soldier for? Can you see I'm hurt? I'm the sheriff. Who are you for? We were following Robert the Bruce. He's down by the river. Me? They're dead. He's killed him. But he's hurt. Bad. And I'm sure you know there's 50 pieces for him. I'll take you to him. And we'll share it. Aye? Hi. Fergus, give him your horse. Hey, you show me. If you tell the truth, we'll help you. Hey. Donald, Finley, you with me? Well, lead the way. It's the Bruce's sword. He can't go far. He's wounded. What do you say? Will you help? Aye. You will not feel the pain for long. <laughs> I'm sorry, lad. Let's go!
Anyone who hears of this will seek their reward. If it is him, we'll have it for ourselves. Fifty gold pieces. Won't matter the size of your sword then, Finn. <laughs> You'll be rich. <coughs> the sword could be his. It's long enough. Whether we find him or no, this remains a secret among ourselves. We tell no one. Neither man nor woman to me. Hey. If anyone learns of this, I'll know it's you. And I'll lay you down. Same as I'll lay that man down, you understand? Aye. You'd fight him to the death. Our king. He's no king of mine. I'm thinking of men. Fathers, sons, brothers. Stolen from us for his vanity. No, we'll find him dead, most likely. But if no, I crave the chance to fight him. Freedom. I'll show him the meaning of it. Sit ah. down, you stupid boy! He's here. No, he's injured. He'll go downhill. Robert! Robert the Bruce! Can you hear me? Robert! Robert the Bruce! You're among friends! Ah, children. Although, Carney, you're no longer a boy. Brother. Family, get the horses tied up. Right. Ivor. Ah, you're a sight for sore eyes. Ah. Uncle! Ah, Scott! You wee scoundrel! Come here, nephew! Ah. <laughs> I brought you something for your birthday. Did you? There you go. Someone needs to give Ivor some competition at the games. I've not got a chance. I'll be here next year. Ah, you'll have to practice, boy. I will. And guess what? What? Soldiers were here earlier. Carney scared them off. Why'd you do that? Well, I'm all gave some foods, but one of them got mean. He did, did he? I. Carney, come. Ivor. Maybe you can show my men how to shoot an arrow. Both of you, run along now. Brandon. You honored Yoki on Sunday. Hey, every day. My brother was a lucky man. Till death claimed him. Carney. Hello, Bunny Darling. Who you got there? Carney, come. The sword is chipped. See? Here and here. Instead, it. Here. Need to repair. Whose is it? Oh, it belongs to a noble. Could bring it to old Sean in the village, but I know you've been learning from him. Get better praise for your work now than he gets for his. Soon. Finish it over the winter, and 
Show him your skill. Maybe even prove yourself to his daughter, huh? We'll need gold for the handle. You'll have that. The work must be perfect. Hey, take it and go. Would you like something to drink? So, there were soldiers here. I. One of them was trouble? Yeah, it was nothing. We're safe. But for how long? Don't you ever think about living in the village? We're happy here. Happy, but not safe. I want to help you. You do help. My house is safe, large, warm, and lonely. I say, and it goes. When you're my sister-in-law, you used to love to listen to those songs. If you lived in a village. That's not what I want to. Well, this will be my last time up here before the snow melts. When I return, I'll be taking Carney. But you've no right. He's of age. He has a duty to the clan. It's only by kindness to you that I don't take him now. Besides, how much longer will he really want to stay here when old Sean's daughter is waiting for him in the village? Come with him. Bring the rest of your pack. I'll take care of the lot of you. I know I'm a rough beast, Mark. But you will come to me. I'm here for your father. Craftsmanship. Hand or master that is smooth, strong. Listen, boy. You're still my apprentice. Turn again and again and again and again and again. Brenda said you'll sell me gold. No here. Far from here. France. Maybe. Boom, pity, boom, pity, boom, goes the hammer. Tappity, 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 tap. Gold? Aye. How much you give you for me? Eh. Uh, go tell Brianna to fetch me ale. Let me go, Brianna. No, you'll have to fight me for passage. All right.
Don't believe him. Brenda. It's the finest sword I've ever seen. Brenda's not a man to be trifled with. Whose is it? Scott says he saw a man in the forest. Scott is always the boy who cries wolf. You know that? Now get to bed before you wake the children. I'm not a child. <laughs> You've always had a grown way about you. I love you like a son. I must do what I believe is right. Hey. Brenda's a dog. When my son was born, you told me in a dream you'd seen him, that you'd seen him on the battlefield. You told me he was with Robert the Bruce. I remember. The soldiers were cheering because they'd won their fight. But you said more. You said more. What you saw. Will it come to pass? Will my Scott die? It was just a dream. It was a premonition. He was in his eleventh year. You cannot stop your boy from becoming a man. Nothing, sir. The future, not even the present. <laughs> I'm scared I'm gonna lose them.
do you side with, the Bruce or the Corman? The Corman! The Corman! <sighs> let go! Ah, let go! Shh! Shh! Stop! Stop! Shh! I either kill him. That was a perfect shot. He's alive. How are we moving? Quick, help me find the starting branch. You'll be rich. Children, that man in there, and we know who he is. Our lives are in great danger with him in the croft. A good man that would kill him. Shared the gold with us. He's too. our king. But Ma, it's got quiet. We'd be rich. His life is in our hands. It was God's will he came here. If we help him, we'll have to leave, won't we? Brenda will learn of it. Thinking of Brianna. You're right. He's our king. We have a duty to him. That's his sword. Brenda lied to me. He'll kill him, won't he? And us. Brenda lost men he loved to the Bruce's Wars. Yogi, his friends, but he'll always bear a grudge. Not a word. Come inside. Something in there. Is that from a sword? An arrow, maybe. Help me get him on his side. Get a cloth. Put it down here, Scott. Put one in the water. Down there. You need a watch. He'll bleed. 
I'm not afraid of blood moss. All right. Clean it. Shock is all. He never cared. Now his leg. I. Can he the knife? All right. Hold him down. Ava, hold him. Ready? <laughs> hold him down. Hold him. <laughs> Can he hear? Tie it. Tight. Good. Ivor, Carney, back to your work. Scott, come here. Are you hurt? Where? Once the fight has begun, they've taken everything, our brothers, fathers, sons. You stole my heart, they've taken our weapons. They take, they take, they take, until they have to fill. The women have nothing left to love, then it's time to kill! You're not still pining over that morag, are you? A love that pains always pain. Her heart belongs forever to your brother. You best shut your mouth. I will not. Shall I buy you a wee dram then, Alpha? I see what I see. A man like you. Handsome as you are. And parting as you are. You're no wild thistle. But you'll be rich after the winter, won't you?
Elvish gone. You're the king now. We won. The spider's web must be spun. The king's delight must be undone. The lost soul's journey must be won. The song of justice must be sung. Who are you? He's got a hundred excuses. When someone comes to kill the king, we'll have to fight. You won't be able to fight him hand to hand. Sure I will. You're not strong enough. First sign of anything. You get your bow and your quiver, and you run to that tree. Ivor, I'll climb your perch there. Okay. As soon as fighting starts, you do what you can. All right? I don't want to fight them. I... I know. But we all have to protect your ma. And I have to protect you too. If we have to fight, I'm gonna come on. I give the orders or else someone might die. It might be him, or Ivor, or me, or you. Or it could be your ma. Family. Aye? Aye. Now take your bow and try again. Be patient this time. Ready? Aye. <sighs> Move closer. You'll get even closer. Fever's broken. I know you. No. No, you don't. I saw you. Leave me alone. Yeah. You're near frozen. When's God find you? Rest now. Run along. are healing. It's all a dream. The fever? Freedom. Victory. Nothing. Robert! Robert the Bruce!
This is my elder nephew, Carney. It's my younger niece, Ivor. That there's my boy, Scott. Uh, please, take a seat. Carney was barely a year when the Wallace began to fight. Our clan was bound to England and it was decreed that anyone who joined him would be an outlaw. So then my brother Toag decided to join him. I pleaded with him not to. He seemed so proud the night he went off to fight. Huh. Carney cried. Aye, he cried. He cried for his father. When your father went to fight with King Robert, you cried too. Oh, he did, not Aye, he did. My other brother, Loag, he was elder than me by six years. He was an archer, same as Ivor. Aye, so you're an archer, eh? So am I. She's good. I mean, the men in the village have trouble keeping up with her at the games. Loag never knew he was a father. <sighs> Ivor's mother died when she was born, and just days later, we learned Loag had fallen at Falkirk. So I had the two wee children. Ah, tell about the poem. The Loak was a poet. After Toag died, Loak composed a song. There There's blood. blood. In the walks. There is blood. In the hills. And the rocks. And mountain peaks. And when we look up to our maker, the sky burns. Brushed with the scarlet ink of those hearts we loved. Do not lose hope. A bleeding sky will not succumb to the shadow that darkens this land. For I just just the sun rising above the dirty huts. That is the dawn of a new day. What beautiful. Your father wrote that. Right. And now mine. Tell about him. He was a good man. And good with a sword. And word came that you'd been crying king and were fighting for our freedom. Our clan pledged itself to you and raised up an army. Mayoki, he was the younger son, his older brother, Branda. He should have gone. But he was a sheriff, so... He stayed behind and Mayoki went in his place. Branda's still the sheriff. Yoki was with you at Strathfallon, but he was hurt. They cut off his leg before the journey home. He was near gone when he arrived. Their clan lost faith. They pledged themselves to the common. But Mayoki still believed in you. He told us that no matter what the odds, no matter how difficult the fight, you would not give up. He wanted to fight the clan to join you again. But his wounds faced it. He died right there as you are now. So, do you think you can make him? Can I make him, he asks. <laughs> of course I can make him. Devil's spikes, though they are, but I make them. My men will be bringing you their weapons for sharpening as well. All to be done before the snows melt. So pretty. Away they go, steel shining in the sunlight, singing songs and smiling. Away they go. 
I give them spikes. Away they go when Neri to be seen again. Thank you, Brianna. Hey. Before the snow melts, you say? Aye. And set the traps. Why, ma? Not now. I'm cleaning the barn. Do as I say. Right there. You're not supposed to be hunting. Come help me set these. Wait, Carney. Aim, don't just shoot. With your eyes, Scott, lock on him with your eyes. I know how to do it. The rest of your body will follow. I just told you. I can do it myself. I'm Scott. Quit quarreling and help me set the traps. You should have aimed. I did aim. Shut it, both you. I don't see why we have to set traps anyway. We've all that venison stored up. Your ma said so. It's for the proof she wants more meat. Should have left him where he was. He's a man. I couldn't just let him die. My dad died because of him. And so did yours. And yours. Why can't we tell Uncle Blanda about him? We made a promise, Scott. What if he lives and raises an army? What if our lords side with him again? You'll go and fight. What then? Just set the traps. Will you fight again? Scott. I want to know. Do you have a plan? I don't have an army here. They're your army. What about you? I reckon I'll kill you in your sleep. Take the reward, Scott. <sighs> My lord. Have you ever killed before? Why? I... What? Chickens. Uh-huh. Squirrel. Owl. Pigs. You ever killed a man? You're a good lad. You're strong, full of life. But you know what it takes to be a good soldier? Tell them lots of men. No. To be a good soldier first, you have to be a good brother, hmm? a good friend, and a good son. I am a good son. Aren't I, Ma? Hi, Scott. When you're Carney's age, you'll be ready to fight. Until then, you practice being a good boy, then a good man. And that's what being a good soldier is. Knowing you're fighting the good fight. What's the good fight? Well, when you're old enough to know the answer to that, you'll be ready. Now, in the meantime, why don't you take this knife and uh, peel some potatoes for your mother? Put the knife down now, Scott. Not my dad. He doesn't tell me what to do in my own house. Cut. The gold got. I'm sorry your father isn't here for you. I am sorry he died in my war. I'm sorry he isn't here to see you grow into a fine young man. He'd be ever so proud of you. But if it's revenge you want, a life for a life, take mine.
Start with positioning. Nice to see you walking around. If our army had had women like you, I think we'd have won our battle by now. And you've raised fine young children. Well, I've done my best. Here, let me look at your wound. Right. How did it happen? Three soldiers came after me. They wanted the reward. You're alone. Aye. But I thought the king would have some men with him. I sent them away. Why would you do that? Uh, that's not concerning. I truly believed that God had chosen me to be king. And then we lost. God didn't choose me. I did. And everything I did to honor him, and everything I've done, defiled him instead. I had a dream. I was king. We were free. I thought it was real. Maybe it was a premonition. Your son, Scott, was in that dream with me. Open your clock. Hi. I shall leave here soon. You'll leave when you're well. Healing me is treason in these lands. You've given enough. I'll be my choice to heal you. And we'll defend you the best we can. I, you're my king. I know I'm your servant. But until you're well, I'm your nurse. You're my patient. You'll do as I say. Aye. Can we visit you when you're back in your castle? I'll no return to my castle. Nice. I'm in my castle. Is it different? Hi. <laughs> Me. See, no one owns anything. This land was here before any of us. Aye. It'll be here long after. You can't even loan to anyone. Huh? Not really. Perhaps we belong to it. Perhaps. I'd like to live in a castle. I only want to see it's mine, though. King Robert, is this your sword? 
Where did you find that? My uncle gave it to me. To fix. Oh. I return it to you. You're a blacksmith. I'm learning. It's fine work. Keep it. It's yours. You best give it back to your uncle. It's not right. It belongs to you, the king. You do better to uh, keep the peace with your uncle rather than risk your neck with me. You risked your life for Scotland. For us. I do the same for you. You're a brave lad. Are you all right? You fear for Scott? Listen, I'll not take you, son. There'll be no more wars, and I'll fight again. Ah, you will. If I could, Morag, I would just disappear here with you and the children, eh? Just disappear, like a farmer, with muck between my thumbs. <laughs> no. I. No. No. Ten thousand wives. Ten thousand mothers. We need to know our men die for something. I now pronounce you Queen of the Forests and the Glens and the Fairies. <laughs> Queen Ballywigger. Now you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> Turn.
Sharp enough for you? Aye. And if the man we seek is alive, I'll cleave his head into you. I bet you will. All boys will kill their enemies, and all their enemies are boys. What man is that? You should ask your boyfriend. His family gave him aid. On your way, lad. But say nothing to Brenda. On your way, I said, and take out Scrapey with you. Fool, aye. Fool, sharpest sword in the world, wasted on the dullest mind in the valley. Da, that sword Carney brought you, the big one. Shh, 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 shh. Is he in trouble? Sleep, child, a house, a loaf of bread, some ale, and the days drift by and by like clouds in the sky. This is what a man's hands must do. When we think of the blade, not the blood. No. No. Piana! Piana! <laughs>
Stein. Get on the way. Brando and his men. My dad has been making arms. When will they come? In the morning, I'm sure. Carney, if you don't, I'm coming with you. Aye. 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 Ice? Get her some soup. Um, hi. Ma! Ma, they're coming! Be quick, get inside. You've changed me. You've changed the king I'll be, and the land we'll live in. Now, if it comes to a fight, some of us might not see the sunset, but that is the true nature of war. But know this, I see now in your eyes what Scotland can be. You've felt her fear and her rage. You've heard the roar of her soul. You've wept her tears and you've shed her blood and you have touched the cold, cruel skin of her death. We have known Scotland clutched in the grip of a mighty hand, and now we'll set her free. Is that not worth fighting for? I. I. Better keep practicing. Aye.
Children killed a buck. We have more than we could eat all winter. It's good to see you. Is it? Hey. Kanye, what you've got there? Looks like me. That work is excellent. I'd like to give it to you and not old Sean. It's balanced just right. Heavy but strong. Sure, the owner will be glad to have it back. Payment. For your work. Fine property. Never thought of Yoki as a farmer when we were boys, but he was happy here with you. Hi. Pity. All this. Him gone. Well, I told you when I returned. I'd be bringing Carney back to the village. He's of age. Yes. I'm with him. I thought of it. It was a cold winter. I... I was. I've worked to do here before we leave. A month, maybe two. Then I'll join you. I'll be my wife. I... And share my bed. I've been married before. I know what I used to. Oh, let's go inside. Let me finish what I have to do here first. Then you can have me when you want. Take me inside. Take patience. No. Patience. See no one. What would I say about the children? Not a man. You've not nursed a man through the winter here in my brother's house. Give him to me, and I'll take you as my wife. But protect him, and I'll have no choice. Think of the children, Carney, Arthur, your Scott, and you, last of all. You, Morag, to be the strength of Warrams! He's our king! Buster! Start trying low! We'll find him here! Where is he? Show him to me! Show him to me! Hey! I am Robert the Bruce. Your king. This family is under my protection. Lay down your swords. This is your king. And what's a king made of? Flesh and blood. Go home. Or join us. And you will not be harmed. No harm shall come to me. <laughs> to me. He's our king. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
What's your name? Where are you from? Are you with England or the Bruce? Are you 
England, England, or the British. You be lighting through my forest. This family saved my life. And they kept me alive through the winter months. Come on! Come on, lads! They're my family now. Not by blood. But through the spirit that unites us all. My name is Angus of the Clan MacDonald. You've done a great service to your king and to Scotland. I welcome you to our lands, and I pledge to you all that you will be cared for by our clan, and you'll make a good home here. James! James Douglas! Come look what I've found hiding in the forest! Angus, what did you find? I searched far and wide for you. That's <laughs> good to see you, James. Oh, you're meant to go home? They didn't he go. They told them to put their swords down. But they kept them sharp. They're waiting for you all across the country. Tell me that you'll lead us. Tell me that we will fight again. Through this winter, you and I, and all of Scotland, have been waiting, hoping, believing that our fight for freedom would start again. This is the day that we have been waiting for, for our king lives. Send out riders far and wide. Tell them it is time to rise again. Tell them it is time we fight again. Tell them it is time to make ourselves free. Bruce! 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 Bruce!
And so that's our story, Scott. Your story. Your blood set us free at Bannockburn. I see you everywhere. You in the morning mist. You in all the wee beasties. You in the river running free. You in the evening laughter. see you in the morning mist and every night in dreams i see you where the river runs down glens and by the stream i see you and your father's face the day that you left me to fight for king and country for to kiss the air of freedom We learn through eyes of innocence When first we hear the cry It's where to change the circumstance Of tyranny or die But all the cost to women folk You leave behind so high 
in the fight to breathe the blessed air of freedom. Blessed is 